guys, it's Nikki, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, and in this video, oh my god, hold on, I can't talk. Hey guys, it's Nikki, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new, and in today's video, as you can tell by the title, we are going to be doing a Sephora haul. Their VIB sale was like a week or two ago, and I went shopping and I grabbed some things. I'm more of an Ulta girl than a Sephora girl, but I decided to go ahead and get some things from Sephora because I wanted to try some new things and also pick up some products that I really, really love in general. So um, if you guys want to see what I got, then please keep watching. I tried to have a cute setup back here, but you couldn't even see it. So um, there's that fail. So the first thing I got was the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub um, from First Aid Beauty. So... This has 10% um, AHA and it's safe for sensitive skin and I really wanted to try this because I do just struggle with like um, I have some razor bumps and also just some like scarring from that and I wanted to try this out to kind of see what it would do. I also did really want to find like a good body scrub. I like tree hut body scrubs but I like the fact that this one has AHA which helps with like brightening those scars and everything just like as we would use on our face. So I'm really excited to try it out. The only reason, because I went shopping like almost two weeks ago. So the reason why I haven't even tried this out yet though is because I did go on vacation and I knew I was going to be on the sun. And I did read that you shouldn't use it like right after the sun. It even says it right here. Like it may increase your skin sensitivity to the sun and the possibility to the sun, to the sun, and the possibility of sunburn, so I didn't want to risk that because I was like, your girl is getting a tan. As you can see, she got a weird one, but she's getting a tan. Um, so I just kind of waited on this, but I'm going to do a whole separate video once I actually try this product out and kind of know what I like, what I don't about it, if I do and if I don't, because I just think that this is a very interesting product. So stay tuned for that video. Next, I got the Too Faced Lip Injection. This is their limited edition. Um, this is with their, this is the shade Beast thing. I forgot what the collection was called, but... But they basically came out with, I'm going to look it up right now, that's why I'm on my phone. Um, but they basically came out with even an eyeshadow palette. And that was my main thing that I was going to buy when I went to my Sephora. But they didn't have it. But it's the Too Faced Teddy Bear It All shadow palette. I really want it. I think it's just so pretty. I don't know. I think it's so pretty, but... um. I do like their um, lip injection in general. I do like their lip plumpers. Um, I like the Buxom one too. I have the Buxom on, one on right now. But I did want to get this one because I did like the shade of it and everything. I just thought it was so pretty. It has some sparkles in it. And I thought it was just a really pretty like nudish. And I did like how it has little teddy bears on the top. So I was like that was my goal this day was to get this lip injection as well as the shadow palette but the shadow palette was nowhere to be found so I was like so I don't have that yet this is a product that I had beforehand but I would definitely buy it um and I just tried it out today but I'm gonna do a full video doing like a review of like new makeup so stay tuned for that so it's the Sephora micro smooth powder I really like it um it's a soft powder it helps kind of create a matte look to the face and kind of set everything if you want to put your foundation on and just this powder you could totally do so it's just a really pretty finish powder and i think it looks really good on the skin so i did want to include that because i did just film with it doing this look so stay tuned for this look as well and um i like it a lot but i'll go more in depth on my full face of trying new products video so stay tuned but this is something that i definitely try out Next, I got the Fenty Beauty, the cream bronzer. I'm not too sure if this is really new, but um, I really wanted to get more into Fenty Beauty. So, um, and plus, because I don't shop at Sephora all the time, you know, I don't always get it. So I said, why not take advantage of it? So this is the packaging. It's so pretty. I love the way Rihanna does her packaging for Fenty Beauty. And this is the shade um, 05 Teddy. So let's just see... I saw the display, but yeah. I think that'll be a good tone. I didn't want it to be too deep, but obviously not the same 
color i want it to be like a little bit of a contour you know create like some dimension and shadows so and i did want to get back into cream contour i do have the shadow sticks from fenty beauty or the cream sticks whatever they're called um but yeah i also did want to get the bronzer the powder bronzer in the shade caramel cutie but i decided to go with this because i just um got a new bronzer that i like to use so i figured i would try this one first the cream bronzer but um so yeah i'll sit see on this so i can't wait to try this this is also going to be a part of that new video i also got my holy grail lip gloss which is the fenty beauty gloss bomb and fussy fussy is just like the cutest shade ever i can wear it when i'm not wearing makeup when i am and it's just like the prettiest shade of gloss and this is one of the only glosses if not the only gloss that i know that doesn't you know kind of uh bunch up at the lips to where it creates like that disgusting like sticky like eh and you have like all that product here it doesn't create that it's not sticky and it stays so i got my gloss bomb i did want to try the clear one but i was like why would i try the clear one when i could get like a regular clear one and i know i like the shade so I stuck with fussy but I am interested in their new clear one as well and lastly so I got the KVD vegan beauty <sighs> there's only one reason why I got this and because this is my perfect shade of nude um, this is their everlasting liquid lipstick this is the shade bow and arrow and honestly you know they have a great formula when it comes to their everlasting liquid lipsticks and i think that this is just the perfect shade i literally don't even have to wear a lip liner with this it's like the perfect nude for me and i you know pulled back from buying it for a long time but i decided to finally get it again because you know sometimes i'm lazy and i don't want to line my lips okay sometimes i'm lazy and i really just wanted to get it because i do love the formula like i said and it's such a beautiful shade and they had some really pretty shades too i know like the lolita is like their most popular but bow and arrow is such a gorgeous um brown nude light brown nude perfect nude for um some of my complexion so yeah that is basically <gasps> Oh my god i almost forgot one of the things that i absolutely love so i also got the glow recipe watermelon glow pink dream body cream so it's smoothing and moisturizing and i did just try this out the other night for the first time have to say i really like it my body was very smooth of course and um, i just used it on my body i didn't use it on my face or anything i mean i don't think you're supposed to use it on your face i wouldn't use a body cream on my face um but it smells so delicious like i smell like watermelon candy and i normally don't like strong scents like that because i feel like it's too fruity or just too you know candy like to where it's almost like you know it could give you a headache but this is not like that at all this is like the perfect subtle watermelon candy fun scent and um i absolutely adore her I adore her so I'm gonna keep using it I'll show you guys what it looks like um, it's just the simple pretty nice light pink packaging comes with that and just put it in so I really like it um, I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna do more of an update when I'm using it it's just like the first aid beauty one because the first aid beauty I'm waiting until you know I'm not burned or anything or too tan because I don't I don't know I'm not trying to mess with going out in the sun and getting burned easily but with the glow recipe i'll definitely give you guys an update video of that as well because i'm trying out different body care products and seeing what works for me what doesn't what's good for like um if you have like stretch stretch marks or any scars so i'm kind of curating like that now so eventually over time because it's gonna take me a few months to about a year to you know kind of create that perfect body routine i'll share that with you guys but that's basically all i got in my sephora uh vrb sale haul yeah i'm excited to try these products out and i'm excited to film with them as well so stay tuned for that and turn your post notification bell on don't forget to like this video and comment down below and most importantly subscribe to my channel our goal let's see our goal by like july august is 5,000. hold on 
that's a stretch but you know what I plan on being more consistent and just creating new content I feel inspired so I think we can do it so um subscribe hit that like bell and um, leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next one let me know what you guys want to see first do you guys want to see um the first aid beauty bump eraser review first or do you guys want to see the whole like full face do makeup or do you guys want to see the update on the glow recipe? Let me know because I want to, of course, try those two products out prior to making a video because how am I going to make a video with, like, no information? Um, but, yeah, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!